Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for April 1st, 2019. So my goodness, we had a um, fantastic bullish open last night of the U.S. futures. They were popping up on U.S.-China trade negotiation optimism as those uh, discussions resume here in Washington, D.C., this week and uh, then we uh, just poured a little fuel on the fire when uh, China released some trade manufacturing data that was much better than expected pushing those futures markets even higher um, at this very moment as I record this Dow futures are up 183 points and continuing to just show tremendous strength this morning so futures we're looking at a big gap up this morning let's take a look at the uh, index charts here real quick and let's keep in mind that um, we have resistance levels in this chart that we're trying to deal with this big gap open could um, even could pop through or just bounce right up into those resistance levels and we'll want to watch that really closely at the open one of the things that used to really get me in trouble an awful lot is I would rush and rush and rush and chase into a bullish morning open like that and uh, sometimes end up getting caught in a pop and drop pattern so for example we had this nasty pop here get big gap up right into resistance and then found only selling keep in mind that we've had those before here where we gap up have a really bullish open in the morning and end up selling off same thing is true right here gap up in the morning sell off gap up in the morning sell off so we want to be careful we don't want to get caught in this again perhaps this isn't one of those perhaps we're going to find those buyers um, right after the open to continue to push this market higher but let's keep in mind we want to watch and wait for that we don't want to chase into this move and happen to get caught in one of those pop and drop patterns but as you can see um, we could have tremendous bullishness here this morning and if we can get through these levels up here boy we've got some opportunity to really move on higher here in the market maybe even testing uh, these upper levels if this warm and fuzzy feeling just continues to flow through those bulls and they have plenty of energy uh, to push on through those levels let's take a look at the spy now spy has been in a better situation than the Dow all along but let's keep in mind that we still have let me remove these two lines here. We still have the opportunity that we pop right into this resistance right here and then find sellers. So watch that closely. If we can, we need to pop on through there, but we have a nice bullish pattern here moving on up it held um last week held really well real choppy sideways price action last week as we were just kind of waiting but let's keep in mind that breaks above this level right here and we've held into there so nice pop up into this area would be um, pretty darn nice for the market and could actually signal uh, just that bullish optimism we need to maybe break through those resistance levels let's take a quick look at the cues now the cues has been they have been really really strong um, all along um, holding up higher highs higher lows holding up in this consolidation here well and holding on to its trend so um, they're looking for a gap up open as well really really strong open and we uh, still have to deal with this fairly significant resistance level right here so watch that as we gap into that area uh, pushing up toward uh, that resistance uh, be careful not to chase again now right way options we're holding several really good uh, very bullish uh, positions in the tech sector um, we've got great profits that should only help us this morning so remember everyone don't be um, don't be shy uh, if this gap up open uh, produces the kind of profits that you're looking for excuse me looking for please um, 
Remember, gaps are gifts. Think about taking some profits. Uh, there's no shame in, in taking a profit on a gap up open. So let's take a look at IWM here really quick. IWM, this has been our problem child um, quite you know all along here, making um, lower highs, lower lows, lower high, lower low. And we're pushing right against this downtrend. Now, this morning's gap up, certainly looking very positive, very bullish. But we want to watch this. And remember, even a gap above this, we have that potential. We gap up, hit some resistance in, in the chart here, and we could swing lower. So watch that as we approach these price resistance levels in the chart. And there are significant levels here that IWM still has to deal with. So keep that in mind as we're circulating all of this warm and fuzzy bullishness this morning. Um, let's take a look at the VIX. Whoops. There we go. Dog on it. There we go. The VIX uh, pulling back nicely on Friday and um, really dropping the fear um, out of the market. So. This morning's gap will likely gap us um, in the in the VIX uh, down into this range, maybe even lower. So let's watch this down here as we move lower in that VIX. Fear seems to not be an issue at the moment. But if we happen to get a, a gap, um, a pop up and um, uh, pull back, you know, a pop and drop type pattern, we could see that. Uh, VIX start to pick up so it might be wise just to keep an eye on it um, as the morning opens uh, just in case those bears are up there to defend right now um, there just isn't a whole lot of fear here um, futures continue to grow we're up um, 191 points this morning um, right now as I'm recording this let's take a look at T21 22 t21 might be the place where we run into a little bit of problem this morning we're gapping up this morning strongly that could gap us right up here into this bearish reversal zone just overextend us in the short term so we'll want to keep an eye on that as we push up toward that resistance level and just realize that we're reaching that upper limit up here um, now we can stay up here as we've proved before we can stay up here. I, I got to be honest I can't remember a time in all the years I've been trading that we had a period of time that we held up here like this So um, let's watch that. It's possible. We could do that again But let's watch that as we move up normally we um, the way the market typically moves is we move up into this area and we pull back we move down into this area we move up and it's very very consistent these um these extreme moves holding um in here are rather odd so we'll want to watch that as we move up toward those levels um hopefully we'll break through that resistance and everything is copacetic we can hold those areas of support and um just get on with the business of attacking the all-time highs in the market Let's take a quick look at the economic calendar today. We have so much on that economic calendar today that could either enhance or cause us some trouble uh, or subdue this, uh, this morning bullishness. As you can see, before the market opens here today, we're going to have retail sales numbers. Now, the consensus is expecting an increase in retail sales, so we'll want to keep an eye on that this morning. Um, if that were to um, happen to come in less than expected, that could certainly subdue um, the, this morning pop that we're getting this morning. Keep in mind that we still have PMI manufacturing. We have business inventories. We have the big ISM number. The uh, first retail sales and ISM most likely to move the market. And then construction spending at 10. So three, um, three important reports here at 10 o'clock. One before the market opens, one shortly after the market opens. It's going to be um, a busy, busy day on that economic calendar. On the earnings calendar, we have a huge bunch. We have over 160 companies reporting earnings today, which is really 
a bit odd considering this is the very first day of the quarter and we haven't even gotten to um, second quarter earnings reports yet. That'll be in a couple, three weeks. We're just kind of cleaning up first quarter earnings here. And um, so just keep in mind, we have a full um, earnings calendar as well to deal with here in the market. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube, the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and please, please, please leave a comment. Every time you click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment, uh, it helps the algorithm show these videos to more folks. Remember, the purpose of these videos is not to make any money. I don't make money from these videos. The purpose for me is to help other traders do a better job of preparing for their day. If you guys find that useful yourself, please also click that share button and share this video over on your Facebook feed, on Twitter, whatever uh, social media that you have. It's free um, access to anyone. So please feel free to share that. So with that, how about we take a look at a few stocks that are setting up for potential, uh, a really nice potential of, uh, of profits here. Let's take a look at um, NVIDIA. Now, um, full disclosure here, Rightway Options, myself, we're in NVIDIA, and NVIDIA, we're, we're in a substantial profit on NVIDIA, and I think NVIDIA is setting up for more upside. now. Keep in mind, I'm always a trend follower here, and current trend is out here. It is possible that NVIDIA changes the trajectory of its trend, but we'll want to keep an eye on that because there is still the possibility that NVIDIA will just continue to consolidate over toward the trend. Keep in mind, there's plenty of proof that stocks will find their way to the trend. So. If that has to move all the way over here to get to the trend or pull back to get to a trend, um, that is still possible. What, of course, I'm watching here is the potential that we're holding this nice little support area. The bullishness of today possibly popping through there. And you can see that little pink line right there that I have on the chart. That's a price alert, and I'm waiting to see if that will move on through. Let's take a look at Apple. Um, Apple has a very similar pattern, as you can see, moving up, just moving up and consolidating over toward the trend. We've had this pullback, and now we've had three little spinning top doji candles moving us sideways. You can see my price alert on the chart. I'm looking to see if Apple can pop on through there, show me that nice bullish, uh, bullish sign, and then maybe moving on right on up to test resistance levels right up here. So watch um, Apple. Apple looking pretty darn healthy here. Take a look at a Cree. Cree, nice little pattern here on Cree. You can see it moved itself back to the trend, popped up here last week um, over that level and looks like it could follow on through to the upside. Um, at any time here. So watch Cree, one for your list. Please keep in mind, any of these charts that I put out here are not uh, meant as uh, any indication to buy or sell this stock. What what it is, is is charts that could potentially be setting up and you want to put them on your watch list and maybe just keep an eye on them. Remember, you must do your own evaluation of all charts. Never, ever blindly follow anyone manage the charts as you see fit, manage those trades, um, and and make sure that you're doing your due diligence on these trades, all right? They're, these are not buy-sell recommendations for me, and I wanna make that really, really clear. Um, I, I provide these to help people build that watch list and find those good quality charts that could be setting up, holding nice trends. Um, so please uh, take advantage of that. Just make sure you understand uh, there is no need to chase these trades. Let's take a look at uh, some of the Chinese stocks making really, um, really good patterns. Take a look at Momo here. Uh, Momo, really nice looking chart. 
there's that pattern again right moving up sliding sideways over here to the trend getting ready to uh, potentially move higher and setting up so watching that chart you can see my price alert on that trade um jd jd um another disclosure here um i own this trade right way options is in this trade um we've been in this for a while and we have a beautiful profit in this trade um it looks like we could move on a little higher here but don't be too surprised if this stock starts to pull back or consolidate and move back over toward its trend so watch that in here if that starts to slip back but this is a nice trending chart and as u.s china trade negotiations continue on this one seems to just want to climb that wall of worry um, as we're waiting for those decisions from policymakers on um, on that chart also kind of keep an eye there's several of the defensive stocks out there that look really really good take a look at altria mo beautiful price pattern set up here the only problem with altria is we have a significant level of price resistance that we still need to deal with but if we can build enough energy or momentum like we're doing this morning, it is possible we could move right on through that area, hold that as support and just keep moving right on up. So keep a look, keep an eye out there on Altria. Really nice inverted head and shoulders pattern that has paid off very, very well for us in hit and run candlesticks and right way options. We've made really good money on this chart. So keep an eye on it. A little bit different chart um, that you might want to keep an eye on is Activision. This is what we call a rounded bottom breakout. The rounded bottom breakout is um, uh, one of those patterns that just repeats over and over and over in the market. And one of the most uh, profitable and consistently profitable patterns um, I've ever traded. Now that random bottom breakout is a really nice price pattern and in just in itself, technically, this is a beautiful price pattern. Take a look at this nice break of the downtrend, moving up, pulling back, holding price resistance levels in here. And I don't know where this trend will be. See, I've placed this line up here, but this line could move around quite a bit. What I'm waiting for what I will be watching for is some kind of a bullish signal to be placed in here. I don't know when it will happen. I don't know if it's in the, today. I don't know if it's tomorrow. I don't know if it's two weeks from now. But I do know I want to watch this chart and pay attention to it and just in case that does occur. So keep an eye. Keep an eye on ATVI. Really, really nice looking chart um, to be paying attention to. Also, take a look at um, Microsoft Microsoft has moved up beautifully here nice strong move up now pulling back consolidating over toward its trend as that continues to move over here there's no buy signal in here yet but as that moves over toward that trend we want to watch for that possibility of an entry into Microsoft so with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a great day and great profits. And I also want to encourage those that might be struggling in their trading. Please keep in mind, uh, trading is just one of those businesses that really challenges every single person. In fact, I think most traders would come out and say it, it's probably the most challenging thing that they've ever done. If you want to build some consistency in trading, you really have to work hard at it. Don't give up. Don't give up. Just keep working at it. Keep working at it. Keep working at it. And really, really dig in and study price action. I have some uh, free training on my YouTube channel just to show how important I believe following support, resistance, and trend, and that price is king. And if you um, um, uh, want to learn a little bit about those things, make sure you go watch those videos on YouTube. Everyone, take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. I uh, wish you all the best, and we'll talk to you all bright and early. Tuesday morning. Take care now.